Hey, it's Monk, and I'm here this morning at Druid City Brewing Company with Bo Hicks, uh, the brewmaster, co-owner of the, uh, the brewery, May 16th, America on Tap. You guys are going to be one of three Tuscaloosa breweries that are going to be at the, uh, the beer festival. Um, can you kind of explain a little bit about what you're bringing? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be bringing our uh, Lamplighter IPA, our Porter, and our Wheat, uh, which I think will be a good cross-section of the styles that we uh, are proud to make here in Tuscaloosa. So. I think those really run the gambit between something that's not as hoppy, something that's dark and rich, and then something that really has a hop forward profile. Is there one that's probably more popular than others at beer festivals typically? Generally, uh, you know, people at beer festivals really want something unique, like the one-offs, and, and that's pretty hard for us here at our, based on our production. Uh, we have a hard time keeping up with our normals, but normally your bigger beers, your Imperial Porters, your Stouts, and, and also your IPAs. Uh, and it really depends on the festival. A lot of times if it's a festival that's getting a lot of people that might just be getting into craft beer, you're going to have something with a, you know, something like our weed I think would appeal to them. Something that's not going to scare them off. Yeah. Right? Like really bold flavors. I mean, and we all started somewhere. It's not like I turned 21 <laughs> and yeah. started drinking, you know, Belgian sour ales. No, you know, I kind of <laughs> eased into it with, a, you know, a beat of ambers and some browns and some things like that. So we wanted to have something that would be accessible. Uh, two people so it's sort of a mixed bag between really accessible beers and then your really big interesting beers yeah so how do beer festivals like America on tap how do they benefit the brewery well they benefit the brewery through exposure uh, you know you're going to get people that might not be familiar with your brand and in Tuscaloosa we're pretty well known but there's also people that might not have made it out or might go this is the time I'm going to start trying uh, more of the craft beers so there's that and also it serves as a de facto meet and greet with a lot of your other breweries that are in the state that's a subsidiary benefit that you get is being able to talk shop with guys that are in the same thing exchange ideas you guys so, have, I've noticed just being around the craft beer culture you guys really lean on each other oh for, yes for advice I mean, for help for we were really lucky to have uh, good people brewing out of Birmingham sort of take us under their arm, and they really helped us. We've got good friends at Fairhope that is uh, roughly the same size as us. They've just grown a little bit, but bounce ideas off. And then we've tried to do that forward with Band of Brothers, the newest brewery that's open in Tuscaloosa. JD and Jeremiah came over here and worked with us for two or three months, and we still lean on each other heavily if we need to borrow something, if we need to talk. So one of the things I'm looking forward to the most is trying some of their beers, because they've been just trying to get open uh, we also have a really good relationship with Black Warrior. We were all in the same homebrew club. So, you know, it, it'll be a good time to have us all in one area, too. But the main benefit is exposure to people that might not be familiar with your brand. Okay, well, I look forward to it. I mean, I'm here a lot. You guys come. They're right across from Oz Music, uh, Druid City Brewing Company, America on Tap, May 16th in Government Plaza. Tickets are available right now, so go ahead and get yours and come see Bo and me. Thank you very much.